Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for SimonsStamps.com. Today I'm going to be using the stamp set that's included in the May 2023 card kit. The stamp set is called Best Year Yet, and it has fabulous greetings and even sub greetings for all of your birthday cards. Plus some really fun imagery with birthday cake, presents, balloons, things like that. The idea behind my card today comes from that larger greeting that is all solid and it says it's your day in the middle of it. I thought it would be really, really neat to have a bunch of really solid colored blobs and circles overlapping. And when you overlap those colors, you get a third color. And so it would just be a really colorful arrangement of shapes and then have some of the images from the stamp set there as well. So I'm first stamping the birthday cake and I'm going to coat that in some white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And I stamped that cake in Versamark ink so that the powder would stick to it. Then I heat set it with the heat tool until it was smooth and melted. And then I'm doing the same thing with the balloons. I'm stamping the balloons in Versamark ink and I'm gonna do some heat embossing. So I've used an anti-static powder tool to prep the area before stamping. I then stamped in Versamark and then coated the stamped images with some of that white embossing powder. So all of the inks I'm using today actually resist, um, or I should say that the embossed images resist the ink. So as I add ink on top of the images, it's going to remain white. So I'm not worried about having to stamp those beforehand. So here's that greeting I was telling you about that inspired this card design. It's a really, really solid kind of abstract shape with the words inside of it. So I'm first going to pick out some colors of ink from Simus's stamp, and I'm going to start stamping in the color peachy. It's a nice pale orange shade. And I'm going to actually stamp the greeting a couple of times because this is such a solid image that uh, sometimes the, the ink can be a little splotchy and it's a brand new stamp and I haven't used it before. So sometimes it takes a little time to season the stamp so that it gets really good results. So I'm stamping it twice just in my Misty stamp positioning tool. And that's so that I can get a very solid impression with this ink. Now I'm going to remove my cardstock from the Misty tool. I'm going to put it on the stamp and stencil mat so that I can do some masking and stenciling over the top. That's going to hold everything in place while I work. And I'm also going to tape that mat to my work surface. I'm now using the circle mask stencils from Simon and I'm going to use the smallest circle and also the one just larger than the smallest circle. And they kind of, it kind of, uh, encircles the two images that I've stamped perfectly. Now you can't really see on camera right now that I've per perfectly positioned that circle right over that birthday cake, but in person I could see the birthday cake on the surface. I'm now using some guava ink and I'm ink blending that right over that circle mask and that's going to highlight my birthday cake. After I had the birthday cake completely ink blended over the top, I then was able to remove the mask and I'm left with a very, very clean circle shape. I'm going to do almost the exact same thing but using seafoam ink and a slightly larger circle mask to highlight the balloons. Now this uh, circle is much larger than the balloons, but I thought it'd be really fun that this would be an opportunity to have some other circles masked off and overlapping the blue circle. So I'd get a lot of different, different uh, colors when I overlap those. So I'm wiping off any of that ink that might be on the surface of my embossed image. And then I'm going to grab a different stencil. This is the Mix and Match Circles stencil from Simon. And I'm actually going to use uh, the different sizes of circles and mask off the area around each circle so that I can isolate it and only ink blend each circle that I want. So I picked kind of one of the larger circles and now I'm using the color lilac. And I'm going to bring it over the top and you can see where it overlaps those different colors. You just get a third color. It looks really, really neat and I think it's a cool effect. I'm now using the color lemonade and when I go over the blue, it's going to create a little bit of a green. When I go over that orange, it's going to become more of a yellow orange. And I just moved this stencil all around my design 
getting it in different corners and kind of expanding the colorful area of ink. I should note that the size of white paper that I'm using today is actually five by seven. My finished card is going to be five by seven. So I thought it'd be really fun to have it fill this entire space. Now using the color celery, just to bring in a little bit of that green and have some more pops of color. And then I just kept going and added even smaller dots as we moved along. The stencil mat did a great job of holding the stencil in place while I did all of my ink blending. And to remove my cardstock from the stamp and stencil mat, I'm going to actually bend back the mat itself and let it release the cardstock. This is a great way to remove it without causing your cardstock to curl because you're actually curling back the mat instead. It's a great way to remove it this way. Before continuing on, I'm going to adhere my stenciled panel to the card base. I've created a card, a five by seven card, out of some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And then I adhered that using some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. So I don't know if you remember, but when I showed you that mix and match circle stencil in its little pocket, storage pocket, it had some dark cardstock behind it. I put dark cardstock behind all my stencils when I store them, and I end up with lots of scraps of black cardstock that are pretty small. I've started saving them, and I use them to create sentiment strips or secondary uh, gradings for my cards. So I've grabbed a little scrap of some licorice twist cardstock from Basil, and I've stamped the grading Let's Celebrate in some Versamark ink. And I'm heat embossing it with that same white embossing powder that I used before. To wipe off any of that antiseptic powder tool, um, I'm just using a rag and just rubbing it over the top and that takes away, I would say 95% of the powder. I then used a tonic uh, trimmer, a Tim Holtz and tonic mini trimmer to trim down my greeting so that it's nice and small and close to the words. This is going to give me the best precision when cutting out this little tiny greeting. I use this mini trimmer all the time for cutting out sub greetings for my cards. It works out really, really well. And I'm going to adhere that greeting with some foam adhesive. Um, I've just cut off a little tiny piece of foam adhesive from Simus' stamp. And then I'm using my tweezers to kind of hover it over the card design and then press down. Now in the card kit, you also get a pack of sequins and this little triangle tray. And I thought the sequins were perfect for this very colorful card. I wasn't planning on it, but all of the colors I picked match the sequins. So I thought, why not adhere them? So I'm using some honeybee precision glue as well as the place and score embellishment wand, which actually comes in the kit as well. I'm picking it up with the wand and then putting a dot of glue right underneath and then placing the sequin on top. So this embellishment wand is perfect for picking up all of these sequins and getting them placed just right. And then once I'm done adhering all of the sequins, I could just gather all the sequins back to that triangle tray and then pour them back into the little bag. Makes it really, really super fast and easy. So here's the card for today. I hope you enjoyed and that it gave you some inspiration on what to do with the stamps that come in the May 2023 card kit. You can pick up the card kit, subscribe to the card kit, or even purchase the stamps on their own at the links down below in the video description. Thanks so much for watching today, and I will catch you guys in another video very soon.